Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's CT Crapstastic here. I want to say thank you so much for taking time to tune into my channel. I'm always grateful. Did you miss me? I've been gone for a couple of weeks. I uh, I had surgery on my knee, and I'll tell you this: there's nothing short of a miracle going on. Uh, I'm able to walk. I had a, a torn meniscus and a couple of uh, uh, things that need to be repaired to the ACL and MCL. Uh, and the good news is I'm, I'm back, and so I'm grateful for your patience with me. Let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Uh, by the way, you'll see I've got a new player at the table here today. This is my, uh, I, call, I call it my cheap Canadian hooch. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just a, a cheap uh, Canadian whiskey, but I like it. And, you know, what's, what's the best kind of whiskey to drink? The one you like. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, imbibe with that a little bit while we play a little freestyle today and I'll tell you a story all right first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a 75 don't pass 75 dollar don't pass and um, my story starts with uh, just after my surgery this last week my son came out to help me and he decided after uh, like the second day after surgery uh, my knee was doing better I could walk again he said uh, well let's go to Blackhawk we live in Colorado so we went up the hill to Blackhawk, and we played Mel Lum Ho's Easy 75. That's Craps Hawaii. That's his channel. Go check that out, Craps Hawaii. We played uh, his Easy 75 strategy. I've made a few videos on that recently. And uh, I'll be honest with you, if the dice work for you, you look like a rock star. And if the dice don't work for you, uh, you look like an idiot. And I walked away from that looking like an idiot, but I had a great time with my son. 75 on the don't pass. We're coming out. Here we go. Unprotected. And there's a hard four. All right. So four is going to be our point. Okay. Now, with that being the case, I'm going to go ahead and place, I'm going to buy the four and the ten. And I'm going to place the five and the nine. Okay. For five bucks each. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a ten dollar cum on the, the table. Now, take a look at what we've got here. We've got $70 on in play here and $75 on the don't, okay? Um, yes, I'm, I'm protecting or hedging the four. I would put that there regardless of where the point is. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it, it plays out, all right? So, here we go. Dice out. And seven out, just like that. All right. So, here's what's going to happen. With the seven, we're going to get paid here. And we're going to get paid here, and we're going to lose $60. Just like that. All right? Go ahead and bring it all back down. Oops. And we'll start back up there with our $75 on the don't, just like so. Cheers, my friends. I'll tell you something. I don't know if any of you have gone through... Uh, Arthroscopic surgery, it, it's, it's a wonder. It's amazing what, uh, what what doctors can do these days. I literally walked out of the surgical ward like an hour after surgery. I walked out. I live on the third floor in an apartment complex. I literally walked up the stairs with no assistance. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm swollen and a little bit uh, stiff, but I'll tell you something. It's a lot better than it was last week. All right, 75 on the uh, don't pass. We're going to come out again. And there's another hard four, just like that. Wow. All right, so we're going to set it right up just the same way that we did the last time. We're going to buy the nine or the four and the ten, and we're going to place the five and the nine, and ten dollar combat. Dice out, and there is a yo. Yo eleven. It's going to pay us in the come. All right. Rack that. Dice out. And there's a hard eight. I'm going to throw in those hard ways today. That's uh, it's unusual, but uh, I'll take it. All right, so this is going to move up to the eight. I'm going to go ahead and replace that with another $10 combat. There we go. Dice out. Yeah, we went up to uh, Blackhawk, and it, it, you know, it. <laughs> Uh, I ended up dropping about 200 bucks, uh, but I'll tell you something, having a few hours to play with my son and uh, hang out with him 
was was absolutely worth it. There's an easy six. We're going to move that up there just like that. I'm done placing any come bets. This is our board, the way that it's set here. And uh, we'll just continue to roll it out and see how, how it goes. All right, there is a seven out just like that. All right. Not much we can do about that. Big Red shows her head. And we lose everything on the board. But we bring home $75. Okay. Start it over. 75, I protect it on the come out. And there's hard, uh, easy 10. We're getting those out, outside numbers on the uh, on the come outs. All right. So we got that's our point. We'll put uh, the four in the same. We're going to buy that. Place the five and the nine. $10 in the come. Nice out. And there is the 10, just like that. Okay. So we buy the 10. That's going to pay us uh, $50 for our quarter and then we'll give back uh what is it uh two bucks so we get some change here two dollar big okay and we'll take that put it down that was our point this moves to the 10 this comes down and uh let's see what else do i want to do and lose the 75. All right, so we're off. Uh, this obviously is a come bet. It's on, leaving these off. And I'm going to go ahead and drop, drop another $75 on the don't pass. There we go. If there's an easy 75, maybe we'll call this the don't 75. There we go. There's a easy five is our point. Easy five, all, all fives are easy. There we go. All right. And we're back at it. I do want to put another $10 on the come. I want to get every number covered, uh, or at least have have room for uh, every number being covered. So uh, there we go. And there's a six. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take that six. We'll move our come up just like that. I think I'm satisfied with that. I'm not going to worry about uh, you know trying to chase that that blank spot here. This is good enough for me. Let's go ahead and play it out. Dice out. And there's an eight. Easy eight. That's not going to do us any good. Dice out. And we got a three. AC Ducey. Craps three. Not going to help us. Not going to hurt us. Dice out. And there's boxcars. Another horn number, not going to help us, not going to hurt us. Although if you're playing the all tall small, we're off to a decent start. All right. There's probably some of you who are going, okay, what kind of cheap Canadian hooch is that? I'm embarrassed to tell you, but the, the fact of the matter is it's Lord Calvert. And uh, and I like it. It's uh, like 13 bucks a gallon. <laughs> and and it's, you know, it's just one of those whiskeys that, I don't have to think about it. I just pour, and it's it's good enough for me. Do I have a refined enough palate to enjoy or appreciate a nice scotch or bourbon or even a nice uh, upscale whiskey? Of course I do, and I do enjoy those. Uh, but for, you know, dollar for dollar, I enjoy this just as much. All right, here we go, dice up. And we got a six. There we go. That six is going to pay us even money and come down. Okay, just like that. Make sure we're doing okay over here on our time. I think we are. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put another uh, come bet up. This out. And there's the hard six. Okay, so we're back up on the six. Just going to keep rolling. That's out. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm especially grateful for. All those of you who have uh, reached out to me and wished me well for my surgery and whatnot, I'm grateful for our Craps Nation group. We're meeting in, at the end of October here uh, at uh, the Lodge Casino in Denver. That's an eight. That's not going to do us any good. And uh, I'm excited to meet a whole bunch of folks, including the aforementioned Mel Lomho. There's a five. That's our point. Okay. 
So we're going to go ahead and make $7 on the 5, and then we're going to lose $75 on the point. Okay. I'm going to get right back at it. Okay, we're off. These two are active. These two are off. And, oops, let's drop my die. There we go. It's amazing, even the little things, guys. Able to bend down and pick up the die off the table or off the floor without excruciating pain. Uh, I'm telling you, super excited. All right, coming out. And there's an eight. Okay, point is eight. And let's see, do I need anything else? Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to replace that five just to place the five on it. Five dollar there. There we go. We're good to go. That's out. And seven out. Just like that. Okay. So we're going to lose all of this. But we're going to make 75 on the dome. Dice are on. Or the, uh, we've got 75 on the dome. Puck is off. And we're coming out. And there is a nine. Okay, so nine is our point. And we're going to go ahead and set it up the way that we had it originally. And for the first time, we don't have an outside point that's going to mess, uh, or, or a combat that's going to mess up our little structure here. There we go. Buying the four and the ten, we've got placing the nine and the five for five dollars each. We've got uh, ten dollars on the come. Dice out. And there's a six. Okay, come moves up to the six, going to place another 10, or I should put, say, uh, put a, another combat for 10. Dice out, and seven out, wow, hard to get a break in this, uh, this action here. That seven is going to pay us even money on the come, and $75 even money on the don't. These guys are losers. At one point when I was uh, at the casino playing the EZ-75, I was up by about $150 within about fir the first five minutes and it got the attention of the pit boss. Uh, the, the dealer who was standing next to me saw me just running the cycle, three hits and out, three hits and out, or, or down, I should say, and uh, saw, saw me you know, making some money. And she called the pit boss over and said, can't see anything wrong. He's just doing what he's doing. I believe that was a seven yes, so we're off. Um, and, uh, you know, these things have a tendency to auto-correct. And in this case, it did. And I rolled some inopportune sevens. And uh, actually, somebody else rolled the inopportune sevens. And I never, uh, never got the game started again. It just kind of petered out. I put uh, originally $200 down on the table. And I, uh, I think I fed another $100 to it. Uh, and, and at the end, I walked away with about $140 still in my bankroll. That happens. It happens. I had a great time. Here we go. Dice up. Attitude is a lot of it, isn't it, guys? There's a five. Point is five. I think attitude has everything to do with your disposition as you play. You know, um, sure, nobody likes to lose, but you have to understand at the very beginning, we're set up to lose. It's it's crabs. It's gambling. It's, we're not designed to win, that's for sure. All right. Dice out. Point is five. And there's a yo 11. We're going to make our $10 on the come. Dice out. And another yo 11. Hey, all right. We can make money like that all day long. It's not, not hurting me. There we go. Started with a $600 bankroll. Dice out. Hard four. Now, there we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make $50 on that. I'm going to pay a uh, $4 VIG. I'm sorry, a $2 VIG for that. There it is. And we'll go ahead and rack that money right there. Okay, that's out. And there's a hard 10. We'll do the same thing. Opposite side of the table. 
We're going to make our $50 for our buy. It's going to cost us $2 in big. There it is. And we'll rack it. Okay, guys. Now, at this point, interestingly enough, I can actually take every single thing. Oh, you know what? I forgot to move the... Uh, I forgot to move this. I would have put this up here. This would have come down and got back into my uh, bankroll. And uh, at it, I was going to say, at any point here, I can take everything off the table because everything is within. I can, I can remove this. Don't pass. Um, in fact, the dealers uh, kind of like it when you do because you actually have the advantage once the point's been established. But, um, you know, we'll play it out just a little bit here. But I, I feel like we're doing all right. We've got, uh, we're up probably just a couple of 50 bucks or so. Let's let's, uh, let's play it out and see what else goes on, okay? And do we want to put out another combat? I want to say yes. I would have done that earlier for the 10, but I didn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it now. Here we go. Dice up. And Snake Eyes. Aces in their places, not going to help, not going to hurt us here. Uh, actually, it is going to hurt us. We're going to lose that. And you know what? I think I should have lost on those box cars as well. And I feel like I should have lost on the three. Forgive me, guys. I'm a little rusty, so I'm going to go ahead and make it up here. There we go. I think we're even now. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and put another come bet up there. I've probably messed up the whole thing, guys, and I apologize if I have. Please forgive me. Again, still coming out of the fog of surgery, but doing all right. There's a six. We'll go ahead and move that up there like that. I think we're in place to play now without any major confusion. Maybe it's just because I haven't had, uh, had my whiskey. Cheers to you. Here we go. Dice up. And there's a yo. Now, since we're not on the come, it's not going to help or hurt us. That's up. And there's a nine. That nine's going to pay us seven dollars. And I'm going to go ahead and press it. Bank the two. Okay. That's up. And there's the seven out, guys, just like that. Nobody promises us a free ride, that's for sure. All right. 75 there. Let's take a look at our time. You know what? For the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. We'll see where, where we're at here. Um, we start off with a $600 bankroll. We've got... Uh, there's our six right there. So we made 75, 85, and uh, 88 dollars. 88 bucks for this particular uh, up and down. And really, we never even got it off, you know, the ground. We we didn't get any kind of a run going at all. I think uh, had we done that, we would have seen a little more. I'm gonna call this the uh, uh, what was it? 75 uh, don't. We'll, we'll just call it that for now, and we'll we'll see uh, we'll see what happens. I might play this again for you and see what's going on. I just wanted to get a video up for you. If you've watched this far, hats off to you. Thank you so much for all those of you who are regular subscribers and uh, commenters. I'm grateful. If you like the video, would you give me a thumbs up? If you like the whiskey, uh, well, not many people are going to like my whiskey, I'm sure, because it's cheap. But uh, if, if you appreciate the sentiment, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment below. Subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. CT, Craftstastic, out.